Amen. Hallelujah. Quickly, I want us to open our Bible to the book of Mark 16. Start reading from verse 15. Mark 16 from verse 16. I'll take 15 to 18. Amen. Now he was talking to Jesus that was talking here. And he said unto them, Go ye unto the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. He that believeth and be baptized shall be what? Shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be what? Shall be what? Shall be damned. What is damned shall be condemned. And those signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall what? Speak in new tongues. They shall take up what? Serpent. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall what? Lay hand on the sick. And they shall what? Recover. Amen. So what God wants us to do is wherever we are, we should do what? Represent him. How do we represent him? We represent him by preaching the gospel. Anywhere you find yourself represent God. Because you are God. You can't be a member of this church and you are somewhere, somebody is fainting, somebody is dying, and you are calling me on phone, take the person to my church. No. The issue there is you have to first exercise faith. First exercise faith. When you pray and within you, you feel your faith is not enough, you cannot say, take him to my church. If you pray for somebody who is dying and they revived immediately, they will ask you which church do you attend. That alone is evangelism. There are some of you here, your own picking is dying. You are shouting, hey, pastor, hospital, help you. And you are a Christian. That is to tell you you are not a Christian. There are two kinds of prayers. Do you know one can be praying and is just praying prayer? There's prayer and there's praying prayer. There's prayer inside prayer. Two prayers in one time. Do you know as I'm preaching to you now, you can be praying. As I'm preaching to you now, you can be praying. There are some prayer points that have no Holy Spirit. There are some prayer points that are not anointed. There are prayers that are word from God. There are prayers that are just words to God. Some pe pe persons are just saying prayer. They are saying words. They are not praying. You can sit there and as I'm talking to you and you are just meditating. They call it the English word is meditation. But the right word is praying. You can sit where you are now and begin to say, take more of me, Lord. Give me more of you. It's a prayer. Take more of me. Because the more of you is dirty, is flesh. Sit down. God bless you, sir. The more of you is sin, flesh. You are saying, sweet Holy Spirit, take more of me and give me more of you. That one is a prayer of faith. There's a prayer of faith. There's shout. You can shout, die, die, die. At the end of the day, you don't get a result because you don't even know what you are killing. Because when they say die, you have time one old mama in your village and you suspect her to be a witch because the woman is stubborn. As you are dying, die, oh, die, oh, ba, 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 die. We are searching every power. You are like, Mama Bobo, you must die, yo. Mama Emeka, you must die, yo. Mama Juliet, you must die, yo. Now you, they worry me, yo. You go die, yo. Because she said, just said a word to you. You will be praying amiss. You'll be doing what? Praying amiss. If you want your prayer, you want to get answer in your prayer, you must pray a prayer with faith. There's a prayer with faith. See that? God bless you, sir. There's a prayer with faith. And when you are praying, you are not getting results. It means you are not praying with faith. You are praying prayer. Some of you are good in it. Jesus, look at what he said. He said, they shall take up what? Serpent. 
what has happened? Snakes. Now hear this. Many of us fear snake. It is not only satanic people that play with snake. It's not only them. You snake in the name of Jesus be paralyzed. You pick it up. But when no faith, you no say goodbye to you. <laughs> Amen. We just have Christian by mouth. I'm a Christian. Inside is dirty. And that's why even crow crush. Crow crush. They fear him. Satan can pollute you if there's no fire in you. You'll be worse than that winch bed. The Bible says a man's enemy is member of his house, his own household. Amen. So stop suspecting animals. Winch is a spirit. It's not a thing you see physical. Please, it is winch that is supposed to be scared of you, not you being scared of winch. Look at it. He said, they shall take up serpent and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Can you hear this? How many people don't pray for where? Yeah? By mistake, you drink sniper in a supply clinic. Before they reach there, your intestines don't go. Why? Christ is not found inside. A woman said, my daughter drink chemical that I'm using to mix soup. They begin no die. God inside. Some of you, now soap, you're picking go lick soap. That's the end. Soap. You the bath, they lick soap. Soap, you go lick, you the picky don't die. Because when you call, hey, my picky don't die, yo. You never die. Only you kill her. Sit down. <laughs> eh? Amen. Now, let me see Romans 8 14, please. Romans 8 14. Hallelujah. What, look at it. It says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now, what the scripture is saying is anything Christ do, I can do it. Anything I do, you can do it. If you want to do, you are not doing it. Try to know what I do to do those things. If you find out what I do to do those things, if you do them, you will achieve results. So please, why am I saying this? I'm telling you the truth. Why things are not happening to us is we are not doing the right thing. God did not make us preachers so we can obtain people. Are you hearing me? He's not celebrating grace by giving pastor money. When pastor preach and preach and preach and you brought money to utter, you are stupid. You are foolish. Don't come and say you are celebrating grace because pastor talks something. You and your wife, they correct. And pastor blast your wife, blast your wife. Or no, you to the pastor. Hey! Right on. You can't drop. Drop your khaki if you know say you love grace. Drop your khaki. Me, I know say you respect grace. You can carry 100 naira. You can't drop and you go. Another one, sit down. You can't call, you drop. That is not respecting grace. Sit down. Respecting grace is when a man of God teaches or preaches. Change! And become a good person for yourself so you can make heaven. Pastor is talking about repentance. Nobody will bring one error. It's not by coming to drop money in the altar. If God wants you, if God wants money, God does not need you to bring money. If God wants to, if, if, if God loves me so much and he wants to bless me, he doesn't need you. How Satan give money to people? Why do you think God cannot give me money? Why do you think I cannot, God will have to, to stress himself and do, no, 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 no. If God wants to bless you, he has his way. So when your time is come, my guy, forget. Forget. Christianity is a product. You pay the price, you get the product. 
Many of you don't want to pay price. Some of you go to church because of trouble. When the problems of you run. See. Satan sit down they look. Every morning. He they look. He know the genuine Christians. He know who to beat. He know who to free. He know who to hold. He know who to. He's just looking. He's going through and fro. Satan gets character. So why do you think Satan will like you? Why do you think he will kill for you? Why do you think he will bless you? And that's why when he gives you cap, he took your head. That is why once he gives you hand, he cuts your waist. That is why once he gives you money, he takes your life. Is there an enemy of your father? God is no longer God to you. I have told you time with that number. He is your father. So Satan is the number one enemy of your father. He can never like you. Let me tell you the truth. The trouble between God and Satan is because of you. It was after God has created man, Satan disobeyed. He said, yeah, God. What? Near man? Yeah, a God? And all angels and all living creatures should bow before them? I will never bow. Instead of buying for man, I will overthrow God and sit in his throne in heaven. Book of Jude 1 verse 6 said, an angel who kept not his first estate has lost his habitation. It says has been reserved in chains under darkness, waiting for the great judgment of the great day. Now why? Satan was in his chamber, in his castle, in his kingdom when he found out that God has created man. And God gave instruction that all living in heaven and on earth, you bow for man. Man has, listen to me, how many angels you see men escorting? But every man has a guardian angel. You are a boss. You send angels message. Where is safe? In the name of Jesus. You are giving orders to angels to act. Man was called God. Angel was angel. So don't ever think in your wild mind or imagination that Satan will ever love you. When Satan say, I love you, can't to see Brahadus, take off! Your time is near. You must die. Darkness and light can never mingle. Many of you are carriers of fire of God, but only you, the pour water, they quench your fire. No matter the Holy Ghost you carry, if you don't know how to use it, Satan will enter. Any bad character you have when you receive prayer and counsel, desist from it. Then God will come out to bring the real you in you. I leave you with this. Please. God is the ultimate. Respect and fear God.